Hello, hello. I frequently see people asking, which should we use? And, and or, or this and and or, right? It can be confusing when you first come to Elixir. Now they're not the same and there are some differences that make them useful and some differences that, you know, create pitfalls. So I wanna cover quickly all those things. Let's take a look at this. So just so we are clear, this or is doing a check of truthiness or falsiness, not true or false, as opposed to this one, this or, where it's spelled or, it's actually checking the, the Boolean true versus false, right? And the same with this and, two ampersands, that's checking truthiness versus falsiness. And th this and is a Boolean check. So how can we, how does this affect our code? First, there's a short circuit operator. This kind of thing is very useful. Uh, and if you come from a Ruby background, for example, you'll, you'll find it very familiar. So for example, we have a result that's nil, right? Think this is a result of a function. Well, if it's nil or default, nil and false are both falsy values, which means this will return false and therefore we will evaluate the other side. So let me throw this to an IX session, show you that nil, result or default gives us default, right? Let's try that with false. Again, this is a falsy value. So that also gives us default. But if this were to be anything else, say hello, the short circuit operator would make it so that we return hello and we never evaluate the default, right? Well, the same is true with this one down here. Let's take a look at it. If we do result and and dbg, this can be a helpful thing to do if this dbg operation is expensive, suppose an expensive function, and you have a result coming and you want to check if it's falsy, right? So if it's nil and we run this, dbg never gets run, right? You see that. So if it were an expensive operation, it would never get run. But if this was some positive or truthy value, dbg would get run, right? So pretty helpful uh, short circuit operator, which makes you think, when would I not use this, right? So let's talk, let's take a look at some of the dangers. Some of the dangers I've seen come, for example, with uh, environment variables. So if you get an environment variable that says something, you might say, hey, I want this value or true, right? Maybe this is our default, right? The problem is when you deal with environment variables, they're typically coming as strings. So let me actually show you this. I'll close that IX and we can do something and launch IX. So now we have this environment variable defined there. And if I pull this, you'll see that it's false as a string. But false as a string is actually a true D value because it's neither nil nor false, right? So if we do that value or true, we're gonna get false. And so you could have an, a bug in your code because of that. The same is true if you have a function that returns something like undefined and you expected it to return nil, right? That versus default is gonna return uh, undefined or error, right? All of these are potential cases where, you know, you, you, it's a surprising uh, behavior because you did not expect that, right? What's, what's the behavior if we do or this Boolean comparison? Well, so we have a string false and this will blow up because this or is expecting Booleans on both the left and the right hand side. And the same is true of and, right? So we have an example here. And is if both of them are Booleans, we can use that, right? So if you need Boolean comparisons, make sure you're using and or or uh, spelled out. And especially if you're unsure, uh, or if you, your behavior is very clearly defined, it's better to constrain it to use and and or, um, unless you're explicitly trying to use some short circuit operation like we did up here. That's it. I hope you like it.